This is Scott from KIG. It's November 26, 2013. This is our 2010 Carrier 45 ton AquaSnap air cooled chiller. Uh, this is one of two or three videos. We're going to do a test, uh, test run today. But right now I have all the covers open to kind of do a little uh, walk around of the unit before we power it up uh, completely. Uh, this is the RAP series. I don't know if you can see that clearly. It's the uh, 30 RAP 045, so 45 ton. Uh, the P in the RAP model stands for Puron. It's the new R410A uh, refrigerant. So it's not R22. It's the newer high pressure eco-friendly uh, refrigerant. Uh, this is a 460 volt unit, again a, a year 2000, uh, 2010. There's actually four scroll compressors, all similar horsepower. The primary compressor though, primary A1, uh, this is actually a digital scroll compressor that has some dis additional technology in there uh, for low load capacity um, and staging as compared to the three conventional uh, scroll compressors. Visually, they all they all look the same. Um, what you're going to do here, if we do have power to the unit, we're just going to power up the controller. I just did that with a switch there. This unit also has a board, an energy man management module, which you can. Uh, can activate if uh, if you want to for some sophisticated, uh, I guess, efficiency and, and staging control, or I guess they call it the reset control um, of the compressors. Uh, it also has the MotorMaster variable, variable speed drive, which allows this to be a, uh, a unit capable of running outdoors in low ambient temperatures. Uh, what we're going to do here is Let's go to uh, the view screen here. We're just going to do a quick uh, reconfirmation. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't have it showing. Reconfirmation of the hours, 3,684. And what we're going to do today is. Um, We are going to, uh, let's see. Right now our water temperature in the tank is up to 83.1 uh, degrees. We're going to chill it down to a set point of uh, 40 degrees once we come and power it up. In fact, the set point is already, should already be in here. Yeah, we're going to chill it down to 40, uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit today. Uh, this has a newer micro channel condenser coils. Uh, all really clean, all in really good shape. Uh, we have about several hundred gallons of uh, fluid heated up in our tank here for the test run. Uh, we've heated it up with this uh, temperature, mold temperature controller here, which goes right back into the tank. Uh, we actually have uh, several pumps. We have three pumps on our test station. Uh, we have one of them going right now. Uh, we're going to go in inside the unit here. FYI, there is a GFC outlet here. Accessory. Um, again, you can see our four compressors in here, our braze plate, heat exchanger. Uh, and one of the things I want to document here right now is uh, our flow sensor here. This has an electronic flow sensor. It's got three lights on it. Um, basically right now, uh, the, the green means power is on to it. When you see the two yellow lights, that means you have flow. It's sending, sending a signal back to the controller, you have sufficient flow. And what we're going to do right now is uh, Dana is throttling back on one of the pumps, and it'll take a second. But if you only have one yellow light, that means you don't have enough flow, or the flow switch is not being uh, not being made. So we should see that in a second. 
Uh, so just keep in mind, this, if you can see right there, we only have one yellow light on, and so the switch is not being made. Okay, look at it. So, a lot of room inside here. Oh, by the way, this is the Y strainer. Okay, you should clean that regularly. We already did. So, we're going to put the covers back on the unit here. And as I said, we're going to chill it, chill it down to 40 degrees F. So video number two will follow momentarily here once we get the covers on.